Our first lesson is according to the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, verses 1 through 6. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built, O virgin Israel. Again, you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. Here ends our first lesson. Our next lesson comes from the book of Colossians, the third chapter, verses 1 through 4. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are here on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you will be revealed with him in glory. Here is our lesson. Our lesson comes from the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, verses 34 through 43. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and of the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sin through his name. Here ends our lesson. Our gospel lesson is according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter, verses 1 through 10. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know what you are looking for, Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers, go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Hi. This is Pastor Mike Lemke, the transition pastor at First Evangelical Lutheran Church in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. With your word and song for the week, it's Easter, the high festival day of the the Christian church. And I wish you God's Easter blessings. But from our gospel lesson from John, those uh, verses from the 20th chapter, 1 through 18 there, we read that it begins in the dark this Easter day, this great day of joy for the Christian church celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. But we read in the story, it begins in the dark and it begins with one person, Mary Magdalene, going to the tomb. And she sees that the tomb is open. She doesn't know what to do. I don't, I wonder what she thought she was going to do there at the tomb. Just grieve, I suppose. So she sees that the tomb is empty and she runs immediately back to the disciples. So uh, Peter and uh, the disciple whom Jesus loved, John, they take off for the tomb. John gets there first and then Peter um, goes inside and looks and sees that the tomb is empty and they believe. And then they go home. Mary remains. Maybe it's just a little light right at dawn. You can imagine that early, early morning scene. And she's alone again. And Jesus comes to her. Now, she thinks he's the gardener. She's weeping. She's crying. And uh, not sure what's going on. And Jesus makes himself known to her by saying her name. And she responds with Rabboni, you know, teacher. She calls Jesus by the name, uh, by his name. Jesus makes himself known to one person. He makes himself known to Mary by calling her name. And on this Easter day, Jesus is calling to each one of us. Jesus knows our name. Jesus goes with us. So no matter what your circumstance is. Perhaps you showed up on this Easter day, you're you're watching this uh, video, and your circumstance is overwhelming. You're not sure what you believe or what you're going to do. You're grieving, you're weeping. Whatever your circumstance, Jesus comes to you. Jesus knows your name. Jesus 
will go with you. And that's what we celebrate on this Easter day. The very presence of Jesus Christ that was made known to Mary. Jesus shines his light into the darkness of that resurrection day, that great hallelujah day. Jesus shines the light of the gospel into your life to make a difference. And of course, that good news about Jesus does make a difference. And Mary, she goes back to the disciples again and tells them everything she had heard and she had seen. We think about all the conversations that Jesus had. If you recall during Lent, Jesus has conversations with uh, Nicodemus. Well, Jesus has conversations with Satan in the desert. Jesus has conversations with the woman at the well. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Jesus has conversations with the man born blind who then receives his sight. Jesus has these conversations, and now he has this uh, revelation to Mary just by calling her name. Jesus knows our name, and let's tell other people about Jesus. And what is such a great joy to receive this personal greeting from Jesus on this Easter day to celebrate. Sometimes, let's face it, it's hard to share. It's hard to know what to say. Sometimes we're not really sure what we should say or we don't want to um, embarrass ourselves or uh, offend somebody or come on too strong or all of those things we let get in the way of just speaking the name of Jesus to, to people that, that we meet. And I encourage you to, to do that, to do it in the name of Jesus, to be empowered in that way. Let the Lord uh, help people decide well, what they're going to decide or what they're going to do. Just be like Mary. Mary went in haste, you know, and uh, shared what, she, what had happened to her. Just share what's happened to you, how you live your life. Don't tell other people what they ought to do. Just tell them what Jesus has done for you on this Easter day. And you're going to get opportunities today, tomorrow, the next day. There are plenty of opportunities out there to share the good news of Jesus, to share what you believe and how it has made a difference in your life. You know, Peter and uh, John there at the tomb, they looked, they believed. And now in the next weeks after Easter, we'll read from the Bible what they did to talk about Jesus. But on this day, it begins with Jesus speaking Mary's name. Hear Jesus speak your name as we celebrate this great hallelujah day. And I've got a song that I've uh, written called uh, Just That. Hallelujah Day. Jesus gives his triumph.
Remember that God gives you joy for the journey and strength for the day. This has been Pastor Mike Lemke, the transition pastor at First Evangelical Lutheran Church in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Amen. Thank you.